Hey everybody, welcome to another one of Chris's beer reviews. I got a special treat for you today. I'm telling you this because not only have I had this beer before, but I had reviewed it in the past. Now, I'm asking myself as I'm looking upon my beer collection of videos, what happened to that beer review? So it appears that it has gotten lost in the abyss somewhere out there. I have about 50 or 60 videos on Q and so yeah, if I find out I got it out there, this is going to be a re-review, but until then, this is a review. <laughs> All right, so we got the Stone Hammer Premium Dark Ale. Now, this was brewed by the FNM Brewery in Guelph, Ontario, Canada. It's a 5% ABV beer at 341 milliliters per bottle. Am I right about the milliliters? I'm right about the uh, milliliters. Now, okay, I'll tell you something. I was at the Beer Fest recently. Um, I tried their light. Um, I've had their Pilsner before. I would actually, I'm, I'm actually going to tell you this, but their light is better than their Pilsner. So if you're looking for a good light beer out there, uh, if you find FNM Brewery uh, light brew in any beer or LCBO store, it's probably, it's right up there with the Flying Monkeys Brewery uh, light ales. Other than that, I don't know any other really good light ales out there. I've, I've I've tried Rogue Brewery Light Ales. I've tried, uh, I've tried others that just they don't do it for me. So, anyways, back to this. One thing that makes this special is that it is fire brewed in small batches. Um, I think on the box on my previous review, it said something about uh, what type of surface they use, like a, maybe a stone surface or something. I, I don't remember, but uh, anyways. This is probably one of my favorite dark ales out there. So let's get cracking, all right? I'm just going to be drinking it out of my typical small Hogarden glass. Got a twist off, which is pretty cool because it makes things easy. It smells very much like a dark beer. Now, the reason why I, I want to support this, uh, this dark beer so much is because out of all the dark beers that I've had in my life, for people who who I know who constantly say that they don't like dark beers. They don't like dark beers. There's something about it that they don't like. Um, I understand what they're talking about. I know what that taste is, but I love dark beers. So, hey, here it goes. Sure. It smells very much like a dark beer. It also smells kind of woody. Okay. We don't have a very big head here. I This was pretty cold brew. Um, we got about a half a finger head. Don't let that discourage you. All right, we got a very nice, see this is what's gonna sell you on this dark beer, okay? Check out the brown tint, the auburn, the auburn tint, the woody tint through the whole thing. This isn't completely dark, okay? We got a different kind of dark beer here, okay? Now, I'm gonna take a sip from this and I'm gonna tell you exactly why it's better than any other dark beer I've ever had for people who don't like dark beers. <laughs> if I could explain it any better than that. Ah, there it is. Okay. For people who don't like dark beers, let me tell you something about this, okay? That dark beer taste that you don't like in dark beers is not very associated with this type of dark beer. Now, the front of this, the initial taste as it's going down, you feel like you're drinking a, a lager. There's something on your tongue that tells you you're going to be tasting something afterwards, but it's not. It's not bad. It's good taste. As soon as you get the back end taste of it, the, the aftertaste, you get um, an overwhelming taste of like, like a burnt, woody, um, you know, fire, fiery type of taste, as stupid as that sounds. <laughs> when I mean fiery, I'm, I meant to choose a word like roasted. I apologize. So if you like dark, you know, sorry, if you like burnt, woody, roasted tastes, this is, this is in this brew. Doesn't have very much lace, but it doesn't matter. Because all around, it tastes like a phenomenal beer. And I will tell you, okay, I've had this warm, I've had this cold, I've had this really cold. It is actually better on the colder 
end of the scale. That's why I chose to drink this um, at this temperature. I don't care about whether there's a lot of head in this beer or not. The head in this beer does taste amazing. Um, in fact, most of the flavor is in the head. But if you're one of those people who don't really like drinking dark beers, I, I suggest trying this um, at either between a uh, room, room, sorry, uh, cellar temperature to a much colder temperature. I, I can't tell you that in numbers, but um, it is it's really good. And I would buy this six pack over and over again if it was easier to find. I have to keep driving all the way down to Young and Queen's Key. I don't think so. But it's the same taste, the same phenomenal taste all the way through every single time. So uh, I'm going to continue to enjoy this on my own. And uh, yeah, everybody can throw me a comment down below. Let me know how they experience this beer, whether they like it or not. I don't really know about any um, any other beers from FNM Brewery other than uh, their beautifully premium dark ale. Their amazing light brew, like I'm actually saying it's amazing. Um, and their Pilsner, which I'm not a fan of because I'm not really a Pilsner guy, like very many other people I know. Uh, one thing that I can say about the light beer, now that I'm you know, down to the last few minutes of my uh, review here, is that for the first time ever, when I drank their any light beer, when I drank their light beer, it was uh, you had a, you actually had a really good nutty aftertaste. Um, it, it went straight down like a premium, you know. <laughs> front end was kind of more like a premium lager, and then the back end was this wicked nutty taste that you don't normally get in in uh, uh, you know lagers. Sorry, not lagers. You don't normally get that in pilsners. Um, so it was really weird. You know what? I don't even think I explained that properly. Okay, let me just... I was trying to relate it, the light beer to a Pilsner. I said I meant to say that the front end goes down like a Pilsner, and then you have this surprisingly nutty aftertaste. Uh, I made the mistake of saying premium lager, I believe. So, Anyways, I'm probably scrambling your brains to crap out there, so forget I said anything. Thanks for joining me in another one of Chris's beer reviews. I'd probably give this a wonderful 3.7 out of 5. Don't drink and drive, but drink responsibly. Cheers.